we visited the Columbine Memorial this summer just outside of Denver, Colorado. It's a very solemn yet spiritual place. You can spend quite a bit of time there reading the stories of survivors and those that lost their lives. I wanted to uh, share this story about a young man named Daniel who did not make it. Here's his plaque, but the next two pictures, pause the video and, and read it. After we left the memorial, we kept going en route to uh, our hike that we had planned, which was Mount Harvard, and ended up getting Mount uh, Columbia as well. But en route, we ended up passing this particular fire out in Colorado, one of several that occurred in 2018. And of course, a lot of them were much uh, more serious than the one you're looking at here. This was 50 to 100 acres, I guess, but um, hundreds of people lost everything this past summer, so remember them in your prayers. Awesome picture. We got to go around the top of Mount Evans at sunset, and he's checking it out too. Okay. Oh yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. Look at that. Awesome. Look way? at that. Look at that on that crag. I know. Standing I got a great picture of him. How neat is Look that? At that. Out Thank there you, Lord. Yeah. And we're overlooking from the top of Mount Evans. Yeah, there he is. He's what's, right what's the elevation here? <laughs> we know 14,000. 14, oh, I forget. Uh, did you, did you look at the marker? I did this. There he is. There he is. Right. Right. Get a picture of this. Okay. There's your geological marker. Sunset. To be able to get on top of Mount Evans and look over and see Mount Bierstadt and Gray's Peak and Torrey's Peak in the distance was just amazing. So I would suggest that if you're going to Colorado, uh, whether or not you have the ability to hike up 14,000 foot peaks uh, or not, there's still no excuse to that, that you can't get on two of them. Mount Evans and Pikes Peak are both accessible by vehicle, so you can drive up. Now, get ready, hold on tight, because they are dangerous drives, so please be careful. Uh, use your low gear on the way down, uh, but on the way up, still be careful. There's uh, guardrails uh, more frequently on Pikes Peak than there is on Evans, 
Evans is much more remote. You feel like you're out in the wilderness when you ascend and descend on Evans. Pikes Peak, you feel a little bit safer, but there's still plenty of drop-offs that are uh, white knuckle type driving. So beware. But I tell you, it's beautiful to be able to look over Colorado Springs, to be able to look over Denver, uh, and to be able to see other 14,000 foot peaks, especially from Evans, was just special there at sunset. So get out and enjoy whether you're in a car or you're hiking. Get on some of these 14ers and just enjoy uh, the scenery that you can see out in God's beautiful creation.